Sorna Episode 1, a Lost World Jurassic Park Horror Fan Film Series. Right. I'm pretty sure that's him right there. I think that's Ali Awada himself. Okay, so you are not where you want to be right now. And you've got blood on your face, shit's going down. Yikes. Yeah, that is not what you want to be seeing right now. You just survived a plane crash into a freaking dinosaur haven, essentially, is what I'm guessing has happened. I can't stop playing with my hair lately. I don't know why. I keep, I keep playing with it so much lately. I don't know why. I don't usually play with it so much, but I can't stop lately. I think it's an ADD thing, ADHD, whatever you call it. Man, it looks awesome, man. This guy is. This guy has got a lot of talent, man. Very impressive. Lucky he didn't get you know, catastrophically injured somehow already. I wonder what happened. Why the plane crashed. Maybe we'll get some insight later in the film. Cinematography and and everything is great on this though. This is impressive, man. I like this. Oh. Ooh, I didn't think about I didn't think about yeah the, the bodies in there you would see of the people that didn't survive. Reminds you how lucky you are that you did live. And the biggest horrors haven't even happened yet. The dinosaurs. Hello? Hello? Please help. I need help. My, my plane has crashed. There's a lot of people dead. My name is Jacob. Uh, I was on a flight to LA from San Jose, Costa Rica. No. Uh. I, I don't remember. There was turbulence. I'm sorry, I, I, I don't remember my head spinning. I can't think straight. Please send help. Fair enough, considering, There's bro. lots of people that need help. Uh, I, I, I don't know where we are. I'm sorry. That view is unsettling. I feel like something's going to come out of the woods. Sorry. Sorry, can you repeat that? Hello? Hello? Are you there? Hello? Oh, Shit! Oh. oh, wow. Like I said, the biggest horror didn't even happen yet.
This would be so tragic. Ah. Holy shit. And you had to have the scariest freaking dinosaur show up first. Freaking T-Rex. Can you imagine seeing a freaking T-Rex in person? That would be so utterly big and scary. man that was awesome I am excited to see another episode oh he's got another one he's got an episode two we're gonna hop right into it man episode two of Sorna it's called old rivals oh I'm excited I'm excited man this is good this is good it deserves way more love than it's getting too it's got 233,000 views 6600 likes just considering how good this is, I'm surprised he doesn't have even more, but... Okay. So, left. We know the T-Rex, at least saw him and found him. Where are we now? It's been almost 24 hours. And my greatest challenge has been convincing my mind that I don't need to sleep. Sleep makes the fear go by quicker, it always replies. But then you can't protect yourself in time if something was to happen. Mm -hmm. Couldn't imagine having to fight that tired. Your brain knows it needs sleep, but it also knows that it needs to keep you alive, right? You know? Get out of here. <laughs> Maiden Blender. Blows my mind how talented people are. The scavengers have tried their luck several times now. The smell of death luring them. Yeah, all that blood and bodies just would, I feel like you'd attract so much attention. Like you would not want to stick around here, unfortunately, as much as you want to However, stay covered. However, that's not them I'm concerned about. Yeah, there's so many different dinosaurs that you'd have to fear. You got the raptors. T-Rex and then whatever else wants to come your way. That T-Rex isn't controlling the area. Isn't storm. going far. Yeah, Sometimes he's Sometimes investigating the plane. He's staying close by. He's curious. All I need right now is to discover that I crash landed in its territory. T-Rex territory. Not where you want to be. Not at all. Someone once told me, fear <laughs> is like fire. The you iron can either right? heat your home or burn your house down. I couldn't let fear burn me. That's a great analogy, man. What a great analogy. Now that the shock had faded from my mind, I had to start thinking about surviving. 
Man, at least you got something there. Even water would just be a huge win. I checked all luggage for anything useful. I'm gonna start, collect all the I food, had to get the supplies, all your supplies. Yeah. And I had to remove the bodies from the plane. Not a fun task. And dangerous every second that you're not really hidden and in cover, you know? So definitely high risk to even have to do that. It helps your survival to get the bodies away, but at the same time, it's dangerous to have to do. The Looks good like thing you might about have being stranded in Rex's territory been okay. is I don't have to be concerned about other animals coming too close. Ah, oh, that's true. He's already keeping them most of the away. However, as I will soon discover, there is one animal that isn't afraid of the Rex. This one, unlike the Rex, as I've quickly learned, can still see you, even if you don't move. Oh, no way. Is that the Spino? Is that the Spinosaurus? I'm not a, I'm not a dinosaur master, so sometimes I, I get a little mixed up, but I think that might have been the Spino. Imagine how much emotion you would be feeling in a moment like this. smell you though, right? saving grace is that he's big even though that's scary <laughs> itself he's just big enough t-rex oh. found him okay. this might be your chance to get out of there man they're uh, each other now man that was a lucky break ish Such a good job, man. That's really impressive. Good job, bro. For real. Just pure entertainment.
I can't stay here for much longer. Yeah. This guy does such a good job on these, bro. That was episode two of, of Sorna, Lost World Jurassic Park horror fan film series made in Blender by Ali Iwata. He's got, he also has episode three. I'm curious how many episodes he's done so far. Okay, episode, he's up to episode three so far. He's up to episode three. Okay, so let's just get right into episode three then. We'll do all, we'll do all three episodes on this one. All right. Episode 3, Stalker in the Grass. Oh, wow. That's, that doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good. Okay. It came out nine days ago. Where's our boy now? What's going on? He's on the run. He looks so good. Very impressive, man. I'm very impressed. From a completely un unbiased, just a viewer's opinion on this, it looks great man just I'm pulled in immediately you know very very impressive after my pounding heartbeat subsided the feeling of being alone insidiously crawled in from all directions I hadn't made too much of a plan after running away from the plane wreckage now, well, here, I didn't feel all that much safer. Because he kind of just ran off in a, in a panic, right? Two, you know, two giant <laughs> dinosaurs were there. You know, oh. Kind of had no choice. Oh, righteous. Stegosaurus? Is that? I try to think about, like, if dinosaurs were still around. You know, it would just life would be so different if, if dinosaurs were still here, you know? Like, we just, we would be living a completely different way. Oh, you're lucky these guys are either don't care, not aggressive, or just plant eaters. I can't remember if they're, I think, I think they're meat eaters, but I can't say for sure. It's not something you see every day. A pack of stegosaurs is just walking by you casually, doing their thing. And you probably really want to stay near these guys, though. Too bad of a spot, at least. The way I see it, what was going to take on a herd of huge defensive urchins guarding my new bed? Well, if anything, they at least serve as distraction if something did, you know, like a T Rex came and found them. You might be able to get away if it's preoccupied with them. They say that if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. It's like, where the if hell If you can't he... walk, then crawl, but whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. Where does I he think he plan. is? You know, where does he think he but crashed? Tomorrow, I promise I will. For now, sleep. Man, 
be so hard to find a peaceful moment where you could sleep knowing you're in such a freaking predicament. Storm action to set the stage. Oh boy, yep. It was only a matter of time before he showed up. Yeah, I mean, we knew he was going to show up at some point, man. Oh boy. Creeping, dude. Oh, that's, that's creepy. Oh, wait, what is... Okay. That That is a T-Rex, right? That's a T-Rex? Okay. Yeah, yeah, he's up higher. The stegosauruses are big. They don't. It makes the T-Rex not like seem as big or something. It's wild. Whew. Good thing he's up high. smell you or something though. You know, like maybe that's why he's creeping around because he can smell something. I don't know. That's definitely a unique way. That's a unique thing to wake up to. At least you got, you know, a seemingly non-threatening dinosaur looking at you. That's definitely a plant-eating dinosaur. Much smaller mouths. Big long necks. They can reach. Oh, what boy. could it be? I didn't know. As long as it symbolized civilization, I would head towards it. Oh. Wait. I thought he was talking about the sound that we heard at first. So I'm like wonder. I'm just wondering where he thinks he is. Like where he thinks the plane crashed. He, if like, last he night taught crashed me anything, in some government it was that area. The big predators are mostly active testing at animals. Daylight or, would be my best chance of locating that tower. Dinosaurs are part of this I was optimistic that I was general. making progress. However, I couldn't shake the feeling that something was watching me. Oh boy. I don't know how I know, but a whispering was telling me that Intuition, I needed to man. stop. Intuition. It was like the hairs on my arms and the air in my lungs, and time itself was stuck as a million thoughts fought for my attention. And how do you... How do you find any peace of mind at all in this place? It's just utter fear the whole time, like, I, jeez, I would not want to walk through that grass, man. If you run, it might be <clears> chased, stay still, and it might be 
this position. might just be in your head. Just keep moving so that yeah. you're not out in the open. And all, all the thoughts, like, do I stay, do I go? I'm gonna try to get out of here, but at the same time, I wanna be safe, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 I just... Oh, he's... He can see it. He spotted it. That was... Oh, wow! Man, that came right at the screen, man. That freaked me out. <laughs> oh, no, buddy! Buddy! Oh, wow. Alright. Woo! It's just a non-stop, just non-stop peril and disaster, man. I would not imagine being in this place, you know? That's just so freaking freaky. Oh! <laughs> man, you had some good momentum built up, too. You hit that rock pretty good. Oh, buddy. That's gonna end. Yep. Yeah. Oh, the suspense. That was good, man. Jeez, they just keep getting better and better. Bro, to be made in Blender like that, that is impressive. There's so much work that goes into this, it's not even funny. This guy is is doing some incredible things. This is his page, Ali Awada. Filmmaker, animator, horror lover. Just, you know, there he is.